fire like Old Depot. Oh, uh, well, we always kept it at bay. I mean, uh, he had a heck of a game. He shot the ball extremely well. Uh, was very comfortable. Um, but we kept, you know, everything at bay. You know, uh, a lot of the things that uh, we wanted to happen happened. You know, you know, he was making a lot of jumpers. We wanted to get some contests, uh, contestants jumpers, and uh, just try to not let nobody else get off when the guy's going like that. And we did that. Tristan really took over the ball game in so many ways, didn't he, in the fourth quarter? He absolutely did. His extra possessions, uh, you know, him getting to the free throw line, him screening and rolling. Uh, you know, he gave us that spark that we needed. He bumped it up a couple times, bumped up the lead. We was up four. He got an offensive rebound, got a put back slam, put us up seven, and uh, we just kept the momentum going. Coach Kyle said he knew his, t- his team knew that they lost you guys 13 straight times, 14 now. Did you feel like, that was before the game, did you feel like they, they brought a little bit more? Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, it's been some lopsided wins for us in this, in this series so far this year. So we knew we was going to get everything that they had, especially coming into their building. You know, this is uh, four games and six nights for us right here. So, you know, to be able to dig down and get a win like this uh, was a big win for us. So, you, you chatting fries, forms back and <laughs> I know he feel good about that. You know, uh, you know, this one was definitely for him. You know, I told the guys that before the game, we want to get this one for him. And, uh, you know, he showed up and showed why he's uh, a valuable part to our team at this point now. You know, his ability to shoot the ball and defend, got a couple blocks to save some possessions and uh, just a smart player. How big will tomorrow's game just be for the all, overall picture, the way they're playing, and it could be a second-round matchup at well, both teams? You know, for us, we want to just continue to play well. You know, we got 14 games left. We're going into a building that we haven't had much success in the last couple of years uh, against a team that's trying to fight for either, you know, a third seed or a fourth seed, but home court in the first round, and it's a possible chance we could see them later on in the postseason. So, um, you know, we want to come out and play the way we've been playing, um, you know, and, and live with the results. Would you like that? Would you want to see the playoffs? Hey, Chad, I'm going to Carolina City. I see anybody. No matter me. It's not like I don't look at the standings and say, okay, I want to get this team, I want to get this team. You know, you can't you can't ever, you know, hope for one team. You gotta play, you know, who's in front of you, you know, and uh when you know our first round opponent is what our focus need to be to start the postseason and then if we're fortunate enough to advance, then I worry about who we play in the next round. But without Bosch, they're playing a faster pace as you know. How much different is that as an opponent? Well, I mean, they're playing small. You know, they're starting drag is way uh, dang Joe Johnson and, and Omari, and then they come off the bench. But, you know, two rooks that's been playing really good, Josh Richardson, um, you know, Justice Winslow, and then the big kid, uh, Hassan. Uh, so they got a, a lot of depth right now, and they're playing some good ball, and they definitely play good ball on their home floor. Uh, you know, they want to probably revenge, you know, last night's loss to Charlotte and, uh, you know, try to get their momentum going as well towards the postseason.